Let's talk about uh, other warfare. Meghan and Harry, the year of hell. Your the... warfare well, is Meghan no, and no, Harry. There was a battle between Meghan and Harry and the press, the My wider press, subject. for most of no. last year. You <laughs> did the big documentary in which they, you know, they... I was quite critical of it, to be honest, because I thought they turned a Were documentary about, about Africa into a... Are they, are they, can I just tell you that? This is a good chance for me to correct yes. that. I, they didn't do that. I th uh, do you know what? I, I absolutely... I know what you're going to say, and I, I said it at the time. It's not them who are in charge of the editorial direction of the programme. Well, they only answer the questions mm. that you ask them. But if them. you don't complain and then when the on tabloids, camera, you're not going to have a complaining the, story, When the newspapers then run the massive headlines, it's the choice of those editors to make oh, that Susanna, the story so nice. as well. If they didn't complain no, I on think, camera, I think, well, it wouldn't Tom, be a story. You put their well, point. I think there's, two, there's maybe two things to say about that. One, one is that it is worth saying that the documentary was my idea, they were very consistent all the way through that they wanted it to be about their work in Africa. And I said repeatedly, look, I don't really... I've made that documentary several times. I don't really want to come and make it again. I'm going to do it about your work in Africa, which is interesting, and all the rest of it. But I think, you know, you've had an extraordinary year. I think it'll be weird if I come along and I don't ask you anything about how it's really going. And I push that and push that and push that consistently. And, you know, and, eventually, and I think even when I was there... I could sort of see going through their heads a sort of question about whether to answer honestly and mm. how honestly. And I think they just, in the end, chose to allow a bit of qualified honesty. And I don't, I don't necessarily think we should be beating them up for that. I mean, do we want people to ask questions honestly or not? I well, I think what I would say Absolutely is... Absolutely right. You, and I think, you, listen, you're brilliant at what you do, but I think that the, the problem I had with it was that they were able to moan away about, you know, from their perspective, about how it all gone. I didn't think there was quite enough pushback about their behaviour through the year, which I think often was a big misstep. You know, they did a lot of things which I felt... The spending on Frogmore Cottage, they were criticised about the private media jets. criticism. Now, you can argue it went too far, you can argue that some of it was abusive mm. and that's unnecessary, I get that. But I do think they spent the year just making odd missteps which brought a lot of this stuff on themselves. And we reached a point towards the end where everyone was glad. They were glad to get away for six weeks. I think everyone was glad that it all mm. calmed down. What advice would you give them for this year? They've come back, refreshed, they look a bit happier than they left. What advice would you... Maybe you've given this advice to them about how... Because you're good friends, How to you, change the narrative and the mood about them with the media? It's a really... It's a good question, and it's a really big question in a way, because I think their relationship with the media is had got so bad that mm. it was almost impossible to have that conversation anymore. Um, they just... They have a particular view, and I'm not saying it's right or wrong, I, that's just their view that they feel um, that the media is dishonest and all the other stuff you know, and they kind of want to take a stand against it. And I don't know whether six weeks away has changed that in any way. I think the truth is there's a lot, I think, going on. There's a lot going on within the royal family. And I don't know, and I'm not sure they know, what their future is going to be and what their position is. The Sun to Today front page says they think you're spending a lot more time in Canada, mm. where they've just been, where, of course, Meghan spent seven years of her life filming Suits, and that they are even contemplating potentially dropping the HRH title, perhaps recognising that with that comes the duty to do a lot of stuff that mm. they really don't want to do. I don't know the answer. I mean, it's no big secret in their friends that they've been consider, you know, that they've been considering their options in the future. But they're very, uh, they keep exactly. I mean, I don't ask mm. what their plans are, and um, they keep that pretty close to their chest, mm. and understandably so. I, I don't think it's a done deal. That would be my impression. I think there's a lot of talking to be done about. You know, they, there's a million possibilities. They could go to Canada and the big tinderbox that you raised. I thought in that in that documentary, it's a brilliant documentary in terms of news stuff. But the main takeaway that the papers took was, of course, this rift with Prince William, mm. mm -hmm. which is clearly real and it's clearly ongoing. There's clearly a problem there. W where does that play out, do you think, in the next year? Well, I, I hope that... There, I mean, there are lots of people who would love there to be... Including, I think, the brothers themselves, the, you know, the, the love them to be closer again. Mm. And, you know, with any luck, that will happen. But, you know, as families, we all know that, that, that stuff things. happens, things are said... And having a family dispute have to... in public can't, it can't yeah. be easy. Well, and also, a, f a family dispute within a family firm. That's the, that's yeah. the big yes. take. You know, you're working in a Under big family yeah. firm. Yeah. Everyone has their wishes and desires and ambitions. They all have to be balanced up, and it's very hard. <laughs>